Hello children. So now we come to question number 11, 12 straight without wasting any time. So we had completed till question number 10. So today we will do question number 11 and 12 of exercise 9.1 class 10 mathematics book. Okay? Acha. Now let me read the question first. A TV tower stands vertically on a bank of a canal. From a point on the other bank directly opposite the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree from another point 20 meter away from this point on the line joining this point to the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree and the figure is given already in the book so find the height of the tower and the width of the canal Okay so let us first analyze this diagram this is the tv tower and it has named it as ap it stands vertically on a bank of the canal this is the canal okay it stands on the bank of the canal from a point on the other bank directly opposite the tower see this is the tower directly opposite the tower The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree. From another point which is 20 meter away from this point on the line joining this point to the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower and width of the canal. okay so uh, we know that already ab is the tower so now let me consider this triangle abc so you must be thinking why we are considering abc chalo hum log karte hain to pata chalega dheere dheere okay and i would advise you ki take out your copies and solve along with me okay. in triangle abc very easy like the earlier sums what you do tan 60 degree is equal to ab by bc okay now what is tan 60 it is root 3 ab by bc or i can say see i'm again forgetting uh, ab is equal to bc root 3 Okay, let us name it as equation number one. Now you go to triangle ABD. This triangle. So in triangle ABD, what do you know? Tan thirty degree is equal to same AB by BD. AB by BD, okay. AB by BD. Now, what is BD? Can I write it as? See, this is BD. Can I write it as BC plus CD? Yes, I can do it. Okay. So, what is tan thirty? I'm writing here one by root three. See, I should have uh, written this one here, but uh, space, space constraint. So I am writing it here. One by root three is equal to AB by now BC. I am keeping it right. It is uh, the same. CD. What is CD? It is twenty. Okay. So this will give you. Uh, let me cross multiply. If I cross multiply. then i get ab is equal to bc plus 20 by root 3 okay let us name it as equation number 2 okay now from equation 1 and 2 what do we get ab is equal to bc root 3 and here ab is equal to bc plus 20 by root 3 so this is ab this is ab let us equate it so we have bc root 3 is equal to bc 
plus 20 by root 3 now you cross multiply so when you cross multiply root 3 into root 3 will be 3 so you have 3 BC is equal to BC plus 20 this BC comes here so 3 BC minus BC so 2 BC is equal to 20 which implies that BC is equal to 10 okay now you have got BC is equal to 10 if BC is equal to 10 then from equation 1 now from equation 1 you have AB is equal to BC root 3 so it is 10 root 3 okay so hence the height of the tower is how much it is 10 root 3 and what is the width of the canal it is BC so width of the canal is 10 meter therefore the height of the tower is 10 root 3 meter and the width of the canal is 10 meter okay so this finishes your question number 11 now we will go to question number 12 okay what is it in question number 12 from the top of a 7 meter high building the angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower is 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree determine the height of the tower so in this case there is no diagram given okay so now let us first draw the diagram from the top of a 7 meter high building so let me draw the building first okay this is the building which is 7 meter high and uh, the angle of elevation of the top of a cable tower now let me draw the cable tower here this is the cable tower it is given that the angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower from the top of the building to this it is 60 degree okay so this one is your 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degrees this is this is the foot so I am drawing the ground here okay this angle is 45 degree this is the angle of depression because this is the eye level this is the angle of depression this is the angle of elevation now our question is we have to find out the height of the tower this is the tower okay this is the tower now let us name the points okay building let building be a b and uh, tower b c d and uh, anything else we have another point over here so let us name it as e we may use it that point okay now let us do the solution okay so from the solution what you will take first you take the triangle a b d you take this triangle okay now this is the ground got it and uh, this is parallel to this so the distance bd is equal to distance ae if ab is 7 then ed is also 7 meter okay now these two are parallel lines 
this is the transversal so if this is 45 degree then this is also 45 degree okay so in triangle a b d what do you know we can say that tan 45 degree is equal to ab by bd ab by bd okay what is tan 45 tan 45 is 1 so what is ab it is 7 7 by bd or i can write bd is equal to 7 let us make it as 7 meter okay if bd is equal to 7 meter now you have got this as 7 meter so what will be ae this will also be 7 meter so ae is also 7 meter okay now you consider consider the triangle aec in triangle aec again tan 60 degree i am sure that before uh, myself saying anything you must be taking tan 60 is equal to ce by ae it is so obvious isn't it when the triangle is given you know the base you know the uh, angle then you can find out the perpendicular so tan 60 is equal to ce by ae what is ae and what is tan 60 that we know tan 60 is root 3 and we don't know ce and what is ae it is 7 which implies ce is equal to 7 root 3 okay let us write it as meter so ce is 7 root 3 and ed is 7 so i can write ct is equal to ce plus uh, ed okay what is ce 7 root 3 and what is ed 7 you take 7 common so you have root 3 plus 1 okay so finished therefore the height of the tower is 7 root 3 plus 1 meter wasn't it easy hmm? very easy in fact nothing these questions are so simple most of the questions must be seen till 12 that i am using this tan 45 tan 60 tan 30 and you must have marked up the value for one is uh, tan 60 1 by sorry tan 30 is 1 by root 3 tan 60 is root 3 tan 45 is 1 very simple just put the value get the answer finished okay so today we have till 12 and in the next video we will start doing 13 14 15 16 okay but please 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 do practice a lot please practice thank you and goodbye